Hello friends, this video on structure of Adam Part 38 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 37. An atomic orbital for n is equal to 3 possible values of L and ML. List the quantum number of electron for the three, three orbitals and which of the following orbitals are possible if this. So I think you've done the similar question here. So n is equal to 3. What are the possible values of L and ML? So if you see I put n is equal to 3, I can get the values of L to be 0, 1 and 2. And then for L is equal to 0, my ML will be 0. For L is equal to 1, my ML can be minus 1, 0 and plus 1. For L is equal to 2, my ML can be minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1 and plus 2. So these are my possible values. N can be 3, L can be 0, 1, 2, ML can be 0, minus 1, plus 1, minus 2, plus all these possible combinations are there. Right? So 3, 0, 0 is one possible combination, 3, 1, minus 1 is one possible combination, 3, 1, 0 is again one possible combination, 3, 1, 1 is one possible combination, 3, 2, minus 2 is one possible combination, similarly 3, 2, minus 1 is one possible combination and the story goes on. Okay. Correct? The second question is list the quantum numbers ML and L for the electrons of 3D orbitals. So this guy is S, this guy is P, this guy is D. So for 3D I have to find, I have to list all the quantum numbers, right? So for 3D the quantum numbers will be, you start from here 3, 2, minus 2, 3, 2, minus 2 is one possible, 3, 2, minus 1 is one possible, 3, 2, 0 is one possible combination. 3, 2 plus 1 is one possible combination and 3, 2, this becomes minus, yeah, plus 2, plus 2 is one possible combination. So these are my possible combination where this first is N, second is L and this is ML. So this part is also solved now. The next question is 1P, is 1P possible? No. Why? Because I'll say S, P, D, F, right? This is L is equal to 0, this is 1, 2, and 3. For P, the minimum value of N is 2. So 2P is possible, 1P is not possible. So 1P is not possible. 2S possible. S For S, L is equal to 0. The minimum value of N is 1. So 1S, 2S, anything is possible. So yes, 2S is also possible. Is 2P possible? Yes, we have seen. For P, L is equal to 1. For L is equal to 1, the minimum value of N is L plus 1, that is 2. So 2P is possible. 3F is possible. For F, my L is 3. So minimum value of M, N will be 4 here, L plus 1. So 4F is possible. Minimum value of F is 4F is possible. 3F is not possible. Correct. Using the SPD notation, describe the orbitals in the following quantum number n is equal to 1, l is equal to 0, this becomes 1s because 0 is s. n is equal to 3, 3, l is equal to 1, l is equal to 1 means p, this becomes 3p. n is equal to 4, 4, I am talking about 4 shell. l is equal to 2, I am talking about s, p, d subshell, right? Because s is 0, p is 1, d is 2, f is 3, like that, subshells. What l? n is equal to 4 cell, l is equal to 3, l is equal to 3 corresponds to f subshells. This is my subshells. So this is 1s, this is 3p, this is 4d, this is 4f. Correct? Just understand you have something called shells, then you have subshells, and you have orbitals. Right? This is 1, 2, 3, like that. This will be 1s, 2s, 2p, like that. This will be 2px, 2py, 2pz, like that. So each orbital will have two electrons. Each substance will have two n square electrons. So each cell will have two n square. This this guy will have two n square electron, and this will have n square. Explain which of the following is not possible. N is equal to L zero, not possible. So this guy is not possible because the minimum value of n is one. 
n is equal to 1 okay l is equal to 0 less than uh, n possible m can be 0 possible this is possible n is equal to 1 n is, l is equal to 1 not possible because if n is equal to 1 l can have values 0 only it should be less than n so this is not possible n is equal to 2 l is 1 less than uh, l is 1 less than m because this is 2 this is 1 that is possible right I told for n is equal to 2 l can have values 0 to 1 correct so this is possible m is 0 that is also possible because for 1 I can have minus 1 0 and 1 value of m this is possible for n is equal to 3 l cannot be 3 l has to be less than 1 n is equal to 3 let's see l can be 0 1 2 so l is equal to 1 possible for l is equal to 1 i can have m to be minus 1 0 and plus 1 so this 0 is also possible and this can be plus 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2. this is possible correct why for n is equal to 3 i can have l is equal to 1 this is n this is l for l is equal to 1 I can have m to be minus 1 plus 1 or 0 so this is 0 possible and the spin can be plus 2 or minus 2 this, these are the answers let's take the last question it's a very interesting question it says how many electrons in an atom can have following quantum numbers n is equal to 4 and magnetic spin is 1 is 1 by 2 so for if you see n is equal to 4 l can have how many values 0 1 2 3 that means i can have s orbital p d and f right so i can have 4s 4p 4d and 4f orbitals correct 4s orbital will have how many electrons 2 4p can have can have how many electrons 6 4d can have how many electrons 10 and 4f can have how many 14 out of these two how many can have magnetic spin 1 by 2 1 right and out of this 6 in 4p how many can have minus 1 by 2 spin 3 half out of this 10 electron in 4d orbitals how many or 4d uh, subshells how many can have uh, minus 1 by 2 spin half of this obviously 5 and out of 14 electrons in 4f subshells how many can have magnetic spin of minus 1 by 2? Half of this because half is clockwise, half is anti clockwise. Add this 3 plus 1, 4, 4, 4 plus 5 is 9 plus 7, 16. So 16 electrons can have n is equal to 4 and magnetic spin is minus 1 by 2. That's my answer. Let's see the second part. Second part is that n is equal to 3 and l is equal to 0. That is s orbital. So I'm talking about 3s subshells how many electrons are there in 3s subshells 2 because s subshell can have only 2 electrons so for n is equal to 3 and l is equal to 0 i can have 2 electrons only so understand this n is equal to 3 l is equal to 0 is nothing but i'm talking about 3s subshells 3s subshells can have only have 2 electrons when i'm saying n is equal to 4 and magnetic spin minus 1 by 2 i'm talking about 4s 4p 4d 4f all these subshells these subshells will have these many electrons but out of these electrons these many electrons will be of magnetic spin minus 1 by 2. thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more